Why, hello there everyone. I'm Laxo, aka the Kumo Sensei. Mina san, ohayo gozaimasu. Ano, gomenasai. Uh, yeah, she ate her babies. Ugh. Again. So, this is our third female, our third green water blue. And this is on day two. You heard that right. One day after she made her egg sac, she ate her own babies. And yeah, that's what you're seeing. But don't worry, not all of this is sad because we do have another egg sac, which you probably see in the thumbnail. It's a good one. So, <laughs> let's not stay too long in the dark here and let us jump into the light. So, this female here is our piece Letheria Shriata also known as the Mysore Ornamental Tarantula. And this egg sac is a good one, as you saw in the thumbnail. So while some bad things have happened this year during breeding, actually a lot of more bad things have happened this year than pretty much any other year I've been breeding tarantulas. But let us celebrate the victories, even the small ones. Because as long as there's at least a little bit of good of something, then that in itself is honestly a winning thing for me already. So, let us jump right back into the video. So yeah, sometimes the mom will actually eat her own egg sac. And there's a lot of reasons as to what could have caused this, but to be honest, not everybody knows everything for sure. Some people say it's stress, others say it's because of hunger, and some just say it's because of instinct. And honestly, we will never know for sure 100% as to why they do it. But hey, I just got unlucky, and there's always a next time. So I know people have been asking why don't I pull tarantula egg sacs earlier, and the answer is because when eggs are freshly laid, they're not solid. They're pretty much like Orbeez. They're kind of gooey and liquid, not necessarily uh, solid. This is why us tarantula breeders typically leave the egg sac with the mother for like 25 to 30 days before we pull it in most cases. Just like this egg sac right here that we're pulling right now. So as you're going to see, this is actually a very healthy egg sac. And there's not even one bad egg. Now there could be some infertile eggs, but we kind of have to wait and see if they actually form embryos or not and actually transition to eggs with legs. And I have to say, once I actually opened this egg sac, I was actually very, uh, st <laughs> I was very stunned. This is a lot of eggs for a piece of Lotharia. And I mean a lot. Oh man. I'm, if I had to guess, and I'm pretty bad at guessing when it comes to numbers and estimation, I'd say there's at least 150 eggs, maybe more. But I don't know guys, let me ask everybody who's watching this, how many eggs do you think there is? Because I think there's either 150 to 200 eggs, maybe more. But, <laughs> oh my god, that is going to be a lot of rehousings, oh man. But uh, that's going to be a fun video to make, so stay tuned for that after all of these eggs or legs and eggs here are fully developed into second instar, which will take about maybe two months or so. I have to say, when it comes to these egg sacs, I'm always fooled. <laughs> the thing is this, the egg sac itself doesn't seem that big. But once I open it, and every time I look to see the eggs themselves, it's way more than I anticipated. <laughs> but I'll take it though. You gotta remember everybody, I have more than one piece of Thera Shriata female, and I have more egg sacs coming. So, man, that is... boy. There goes my budget, guys. I'm gonna lose more money just feeding all these little guys if... <laughs> Once all of these are second in store, and I don't know exactly how many of these I'll keep, so let me think about it once we, <laughs> once we see the final numbers, because this is beautiful, but at the same time, it's like, oh my gosh, this is so many. And I apologize, everybody. I know I'm laughing a lot, so the commentary is a bit uh, goofy, but at the same time, I'm very ecstatic and very happy that, you know, I at least have one good x sac this year so far. Because this year was pretty rough so far in terms of tarantula breeding. A lot of improperly wrapped egg sacs. A lot of cannibalism with the moms eating their own babies. So this is honestly a huge plus. So I'm very happy and ecstatic about that. And once I see the final numbers of second instar, I'll probably try to determine how many I keep. And you have to remember everyone, all of these little guys will take up space. Because every tarantula gets their individual enclosure. And I don't know exactly the final number. So, I'd like to hear everybody's final count down below if possible. And also, if you want to support me on Patreon, that will help a lot. And I will be pulling a tarantula egg sac for one of these species exclusively on Patreon pretty soon. So stick around for that. And now I want to give a shout out to my very first Patreon member. You heard that right. So, our first Patreon member ever, MaxiHacker89. Welcome to the Patreon. 
And guys, I'll leave a link down below if you want to support me. But anyhow though, and I believe Patreon was where I actually made the announcements of this x -Ac, which is honestly pretty nice, but either way though, as long as you're watching this video, it supports me enough already. I don't really ask for much, so let us continue on and let us talk more about Tarantula x -Acs. So, in terms of my Caravan of Versicolors that I've paired on this YouTube channel, I believe two of them may be getting ready to lay an x -Ac in the future. Now, I don't make promises about breeding because when it comes to breeding Tarantulas, there's no guarantee until the very end. So until there is actually second instar babies, I don't want to say it's a successful breeding or that it's a good breeding because I can have a really good pairing, but if the egg sac is bad or if the egg sac rots or if the mom eat her own babies, as in eating her egg sac and whatnot, then that kind of takes away from the good pairing. So like I stated, it's not really a good breeding until the very end. So I don't want to make promises, so let us wait and see on where that goes. And as for other tarantula breeding projects, I'm working on some others, but we kind of had to wait and see on that as well because I don't make promises, guys. I am very confident in tarantula breeding and what I do, but at the same time, we can't get ahead of ourselves. So we have to stay humble and be prepared for the unknown. That is the one thing I'm always embracing. So my advice is to always be ready. So that's why when it comes to the bad x acts or the things that happen that isn't good, such as the mom eating her babies at the beginning of this video, I'm usually relatively calm about it. And yes, while I am disappointed, it's not also the end of the world, so there's always next time. As I stated, I'm usually prepared and I understand the things that could happen, whether it's good or bad. And I feel bad because a lot of tarantula breeders that are new, when something bad does happen, they really beat themselves down for it. And I've always stated, just get back up and keep going. It's not the end of the world. You'll get another shot soon. Just prepare and embrace yourselves and to learn as much as you can. But I hope that encourages everybody someday and those people who are coming into tarantula breeding. It's not always the end of the world. You usually get what you want, but if things don't work out, it's okay. Trust me, <laughs> a lot of bad things happen to me as well when it comes to tarantula breeding, especially the beginning. So now we're approaching the end of this video, or are we getting there? So without further ado everybody, thanks for watching, and uh, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay updated to whenever I upload here on this channel. I upload every single Friday, so please feel free to do so. Support me on Patreon, and also follow me on my IG and my Twitter to stick around to see what I'm doing, especially on IG. And with that, stay lax, and laxo out from the Kumo Sensei.